Hi, Floss Tube. Hi, Floss Tube. <laughs> The long-anticipated other daughter is here, Marie. So, Catherine claims to be the boss daughter. I'm the do boss you, in other ways. Do you agree? What are, which daughter are you then? I'm the bossy daughter. <laughs> okay, that's going to be the title. <laughs> the bossy daughter. <laughs> All right. Let's, we'll have Marie introduce herself a little bit. My name's Marie. I am only 25, and I've been married for five years, and I have a two-year-old, and I watch Catherine's five-year-old every day. I'm a stay-at-home mom, and I collect rubber ducks, and I wore my rubber ducky shirt today because I thought it would be Aww. funny. Aww. I didn't even notice that. <laughs> and... I sell pure romance. I'm the wild child. My hair is red and I sell pure romance. If you want to buy any pure romance, <laughs> we will put the details below. Um, I like to get my nails done. I like to do my hair. Are you a middle child? I am the third child and that's the worst kind of child. <laughs> that's the worst position you can be. That's why I'm the wild one. <laughs> And I draft for a solar company. You didn't know that, but I do. CAD CAM? You do now? I do, yep. Awesome. At home. So I'm a stay-at-home mom. So I just do these things. The pure romance is obviously only at night, and then the drafting is during the day. I make 20 bucks a CAD, so it's 20 bucks an hour. It's pretty awesome. For your CAD pretty CAD excited work. about it. I awesome. start next week. Awesome. Anyways. All right, so let's, since you're the guest... Okay. We'll have you talk about what you're working on right now first. Your whip. Your current whip. My current whip. Works in progress. Yes. Is. Oh, it turned again. Is this guy right here. It's Spooked by Lizzie and Kate. It's a mystery sampler. At the time, they would only give you one, two, and then three. I've completed this middle one right here. And I am partway through this one right here. And then this one will be next. So... Yeah, that's what I'm currently... I forgot to bring it, so here's a, a picture of it. It's beautiful. Thanks. And do you remember what fabric we chose for it? No. No idea? No. But it looked similar to the picture, didn't it? Yeah. What it called for. And the called for threads? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. I worked on Paula Vaughn again, the September quilt on Tuesday. That's my Tuesday project. Actually finished that green stuff right here. There's only about 18 shades of green in there. Took forever, lots Look of confetti. Out. That's crazy. And you can see the daisies that are going to be daisies. They'll be daisies like these are on the other side. So I think I'm going to do the outlining on that next because I like to do the outlining as I go and not wait and do it all at the end because it's a pain. So I'll do all that. Anything that's not touching something else, I'll go ahead and get all that. This is cool. Done. I like these grass stuff. The ones that, the pieces that stick up yeah. across the top, those big straight stitches across the top of everything else. And this is going to have some of that too, like this, like this side does. I know that part was fun. To put the daisies in over here, that was the best part. Because they have little French knots on the little mm. inside and it made them really cute. So this one's getting close because all that's left is a little bit of fence and the rest of this tree up at the top. No, Do you no. like this? The Ada, the fabric, or the, the, the fabric. stretcher bars? It's thicker than I'm used to, like which it. is why I put it on here because it was easier to work with. I, I ironed like one anymore. of mine and it, it irons stick straight. I probably, should, <laughs> I probably shouldn't have ironed it. No, no, you. that's fine. <laughs> I know it's very it's very stiff. I'm a hobbyist. I am not a full timer. <laughs> a full time what? A full time cross stitcher. I'm a hobbyist. I just wanted to explain that. That was funny. I go months and months and months without doing anything, and then I'll go months and months and months without doing anything else. And so, so you're one at a timer. You work on one project at a time. No. Right? No, I mean cross stitch wise. No. No. You work on several cross stitch projects at the same time. Well, in bursts. In bursts, yes. <laughs> and then none. I have them. quite a few unfinished products. <laughs> and So those are UFOs, unfinished objects. And then there's But I will work on it eventually. Whips. I yes. will work on it. Yes. Yeah. So then so you only have one I, yeah, I'm a one at a timer. But you have lots of UFOs. If I get bored of my one at a timer, they'll all switch to a, to different, a different one. one. <laughs> Not very often. 
All right, I worked on, here's the Thursday project. I work on Quaker Diamonds again. And I did finish all those little squares, these diamonds around the outside that are all a different color. Took forever. That took pretty me all colors. day Tuesday. Fall colors. Yes, my favorite. But it kind of looks like a quilt with those little, all those different colored little blocks in there. And then I'll start on that. It has some stuff all the way around the outside of this medallion, little um, things that are sticking up off of it, flowers and birds and stuff. So I'll do that next. And that's Quaker Diamonds by um, Lost My Mind. Rosewood Manor on Picture This Plus Legacy 40 Count using the Valdani, the Cold War Valdani threads. Two strands over, two threads over two, two strands over two threads, which is really thick, but that's what makes, I liked that it was too thin just one strand. I didn't like it. Coverage. I yes. I like the denser coverage. The coverage. Thank you. The Polyvon, I said, was September quilt on 14 count white Ada, and it's DMC. Called for DMC. Um, I did work on shores this week. One, about an hour or one thread. Who's this by? Carriage House Samplings. Oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> Those sales are just so boring. I usually do like an hour on this first and then switch to whatever my daily project is. Or I'll do like one thread because I'm working on those white and gray sales. But I did get this whole middle section of, almost done, of the middle section of sales. I really like these ones that have all these different, different, Blocks. different, different, different. Yeah. So, so you I might can do have something to do one different? of those. Yeah. Or do you like it because it's in squares? Like the, I like no, it. I just like that this is a different project. It feels like you're doing a bunch of different mm -hmm. projects in one project. Mm -hmm. And so and, it feels more one. fulfilling. Yes, oh, that makes I sense. Like that makes so sense. I might have to do one of those next. And then... Although anything with half stitches, I refuse to do. So that's Anything with what stitches? With half stitches. Oh, half stitches. No, those carriage house samplings do not have half stitches. They're all full stitches. Well, then I'll have to do one of those. And there's no, rarely any outlining either. Ooh, that's They're the awesome. best part. They're awesome. Oh, I almost left the pattern on here. If it gets too hard, I'll stop. And so I have to be careful on what I start. Or I just will never finish it. <laughs> just give it to Catherine. We talked about that when Catherine was on here. She'll just... But me and Catherine do very different things. <laughs> so she wouldn't want to work on anything that I you work on. You don't think so? No, I She don't. works on my stuff and she, she does, does not want to work team. on my stuff. <laughs> my stuff's too easy. It would be like boring. No, it isn't. Anyway. Okay, so this is my focus project this week. A prairie Schooler. G is for Garden. And as you remember, I worked it's on it. Good. It's good. I showed it to you last time and it was horrible. And the colors I just decided were not working. And then I realized that I bought, I, it was the shepherd's bush conversion and I just bought the threads off the list and I never did check to see if the overdyed threads matched anywhere close to the DMC equivalent because overdyes change quite a bit from batch to batch. So when I realized that it was, I was not happy with it. Then I finally pulled all the DMC colors and realized how far off my batch of overdyes were. And so then I went back and repulled different overdyes that were closer to the DMC and started it over because I didn't want to go back and rip it all out. So I just cut a new piece of fabric and started over. You're going to keep it or you're going to throw it away? The old fabric? No, I'll no, keep it. Yeah, the one that has the old stuff on it. That you I'll know. keep it in case I want that piece of fabric, but I'm not ripping so it out. So you're going to rip it out? Oh, like later you rip it out. Like oh, if okay. I thought... I really need this piece of fabric. I'm willing to rip this stuff out. We're clear. But someday when you're helping me clean out my sewing room and I'm old and gray, you can just be like, Mom, you don't even I won't even me. tell you. I'll just, just <laughs> I'll just hide it. <laughs> Throw it in the trash. Yeah, it'll be fine. <laughs> so here's the new colors. I almost am back to where I was. I'm still not happy with this pink and brown right next to each other. I don't think you're going to be able to tell the difference when they're, when it's all covered up because that's space is all solid brown and it's got a G in the middle. He'll be able to tell. See how it is on here. I don't know. I'm going to have to, I, they're so close in value that I don't think you, I might have to go to a lighter pink to be able to see that. This one is way lighter. And I think these are cauliflower and Marie said. They're white. Why would you have a whole bunch of flowers in this garden and then plant some cauliflower that doesn't make any <laughs> sense it's a flower garden so she's flowers that like they're poppies or something white flowers i don't know dahlias what does a poppy dahlias. look like i don't know oh it could be like those trees over by the 
that place over there that are really ugly, they trim it all the way down to the ball. And oh, then, yeah. And then it blooms and it's like this white, like cotton ball tree. That's what they are. They're cotton ball trees. They're ugly off season. Snowball. Snowball bushes. Snowball bushes. Snowball bushes. Snowball bushes. Yes. Ugly. Apparently they're ugly. No, the tree is because they have to <laughs> cut the whole tree off. So it's just this oh. trunk with a ball. And then it's like ugly, and then you're like, oh, that's why, and then it blooms. Then it you have to cut it every year, it. so it's just yes. ugly for half the year. Yes. Oh, and then I have one more that I worked on this week. This is my weekend progress. Secret Snowdrift. Aww. By the Trilogy. I know, isn't he cute? They, he, there's six, five. One, two, three, six, seven, six snowmen, plus a couple of uh, penguins. One, two, three, four. Those are penguins. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, and two penguins. <laughs> and two penguins. They're very darling. We can count. I was thinking maybe an ornament, but it's way bigger. I'm thinking maybe not. It would be a huge ornament. We could have a very interesting Christmas tree with some very large ornaments on it. But this is how where I am so Do you far. frame everything? Do you try to frame everything you finish? Have you seen the, we talked about this. Uh, two weeks ago. I don't have an under the bed box. I have a, a a whole room. A comforter. You know, you buy the comforter and it comes in the plastic bag with the zipper. I oh, have yeah. that all full of stuff I've never framed, which is why the old, old, old finishes could go on forever on this channel. Well, then maybe we should do that for your Start birthday and Christmas things. is every year Frames. you get a frame. Expensive. It is expensive. You're right. Yeah. And some of it, the stuff I really love, I'm getting framed a little bit at a time, but the stuff I don't. It's I not love you. as much. It's just going to wait a while. I get you. And some of it I could make into pillows or ornaments. or. But this is on... the th It was a little kit. So it came with the fabric. It came with the little... There's a cardinal button and a little star, star button. It came with that. And oh, that then, one's cute. Look at that one. Oh, Aww. you want to do the one on the back called Warm, Warm Hearts. Hearts Kit. Aww, I like that too one. cute. We'll have to find that one for you. It'll be darling. And I think I tried to use the called for colors unless I didn't have it. And then I just found, because uh, I have a lot of crescent colors. I think I just switched over to crescent colors if I didn't have. It calls for gentle arts and weak star works. All right, those are my current whips. And I did not have a finish this week, but Marie is going to show you what she finished recently. It says, Happy Halloween. I finished it right before Halloween. This one was a hard one for me. Why? Um, it's like one of the most com most complex ones I've done because it has so, a lot of color changing. and Okay. And what else? Like um, back stitching? Was the back stitching hard? What back stitching? What the, is back the, stitching? The straight black lines, the outlining. Oh, no. That was fine. Well, what was hard about it? The color changes? Yeah, the color changes and being motivated to do it. I think this one took me a year probably. I think I started it last Halloween. And I believe it called for French knots. Did you do French knots? No, I did beads. <laughs> you can see the little You should have beads. seen the face. You missed the face. <laughs> so the little eyes have beads. Oh. I felt some more. She said, Frog Mom, I need you to show me how to do a French knot. And I said, don't do a French knot. Just put black beads on. It would be so much cuter. And then they weren't black. What were they, dark? They like green it. Or yeah, gray? I like it. They turned out really cute. I like them. So, yeah, that's it. I'm happy about it. I'm going to frame this one. I, I sense a, a theme here. Halloween. The two pieces you've showed us so far, Halloween. What's your favorite season? Halloween. <laughs> I just cleaned up my Halloween decorations off my house today, and it was very sad. Oh, that is sad. I know because I don't have ha I don't have Thanksgiving decorations, so it's like my house is just a house, and then Christmas. Till Christmas. You could put Christmas up now. Do I have to tell what it is? That might be helpful. Yes, in case someone looks at it and um, says, oh, "I want to do that." It is "Afraid of the Dark," a Halloween sampler. Oh, never mind. Um, and it's by Blue Ribbon Designs. Oh no, no, that's the wrong one. That's not We're gonna right show one. you that one in a minute. Yeah, never mind. I don't have. I don't know. I have no idea what this is. So <laughs> it's serious. Um, <laughs> is this one? Nope. Nope. You, we have no idea. We'll Google it, and if we can figure it out, we will put it in the description box below. Yeah. Because it is very cute. 
And I think we bought that at the Craft Center of Fine Stitchery in Salt Lake City, our l and All right, so next, Maria's old, old, old finishes. And you get to go first because you're the guest. This is my oldest one. Oldest? Oldest. Was it your very first one? Old First one I remember doing. And so how did you get into cross stitch, Marie? I don't know. I, I have no idea. You were a middle child and it just... Just happened. I don't know. I remember Maybe. though I stayed up all night long in junior high finishing this so that I could take it to school the next day and show my teacher and awful story about it. I had it all folded up in my back pocket of my jeans. Cause that's what you do with cross stitch. You fold it up and put it in your back pocket and pull my pants down to go potty. And, oh, I have a two year old. So we call it go potty. <laughs> <laughs> um, pulled my pants down to go to the bathroom and it fell in the toilet after actually, no, this, uh, this was high? as I was pulling my pants up, <laughs> it fell into the toilet. So it got cleaned and that was fun. Um, Before you showed it to your teacher or after? After. <laughs> After. Oh, good. Okay. Yeah. Um, she wasn't super impressed, but. Well. Well. How rude. So that's my oldest one. That's Lizzie and, and Kate. Yeah, that's a Lizzie Kate, isn't it? Do you Easy. know the name of it? I do. Maybe. I think you were probably driving me crazy one day, and I said, Marie, how would you like to learn how to cross stitch? Let's sit down and do this. That is very possible. Very possible. Um, this is my other oldest. I don't know when I did this one. This one was awful. It has a lot, a lot, a lot of half stitches, and I think that's why I and hate half stitches, stitches now. And, and three one quarter stitches. Yeah, it was awful, and so I will never do any from this book ever again. What book is it? What? Where's the cover? Maybe the cover ripped off. There it is. Okay. Disney Home Leisure Arts Pooh and Friends. They were going to be cute, but I'm never doing them again. So, it's fine. They are cute colors. I love the colors. But it wasn't worth it. It was worth it. Um, do I show these ones? They're not done mm -hmm. yet. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Then we'll do, we'll move on to the UFL these are, section. These are also really old and I don't think I'll ever complete them because they're boring to me now because this is another Lizzie Kate. It's, I wanted to do one for every season. This is like Easter. This is 4th of July, but then I moved on to bigger, better things. Um, this is awful and ugly and I don't know why I started it. I don't know why I haven't thrown it away yet. So there's that. Um, I even have the, um, that one is, what is that? M designs. M designs. M Designs. It's called Floral Fun Number Three. That's how you can tell it's a good one. It's because it's a mm -hmm. number three. Mm -hmm. Like cars. Yeah. Um, that have number names instead of word names. This is one of my finished ones. I don't actually remember doing this one at all. <laughs> oh, you just have your... Get your last name on there, do you care? Oh, no, because I'm putting my link in, in below. <laughs> my name is Marie Burr, and I sell pure romance. Um, I do... It was in 2014, There was a lot. I know. There was a lot going on in 2014, and so that was when I had both of my ectopic pregnancies and, like, surgeries and, like, crazy fun stuff, and so that's probably why I don't remember doing it. Because, um, yeah, it was kind of crazy. It was a crazy. Day. It was way crazy. Um, Life-threatening life situation, emergency surgery. That was. Crazy. It was awesome. Yeah. I almost died. And then this is my. This is one that I'm really happy about that I also want to get framed. I don't really remember doing this one a whole bunch either, but obviously I did it. Um, they both look like um, little house needle works, I believe. I really liked doing this one. Do you know the names of them? No. I'm pretty sure they're both Little House Needleworks. I don't know what that one is. We will look up those names and we will put them in the description box below. And so. then this one looks like Lizzie Kate. Yeah, that's a Lizzie Kate. It's the Winnie the Pooh. Promise me you'll always remember you're braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, and smarter than you think. So I thought that was cute. I've always liked that. And so I put it on a cross stitch. It's Lizzie Kate. I don't know what it's... I, I brought all the papers. Oh, that one. Oh, I have another one yet. <laughs> this is a mess, Mom. 
That one is Lizzie Kate, promise me. Um, and then I think that's, oh, those ones. Right. Can you show that one? Yeah. This show one? No, yeah. these ones. These are finished. Well, we didn't do these yet. Show this one. This is the one I'm kind of working on sometimes, only when I feel like it, between other Halloween projects. And I liked the concept of it, that it's like a book is a window to the world unseen kind of thing. And it is like in squares, like you said, with a different project yeah, in each square. It is. And I thought I would like it more, but then once I started it, it was really repetitive because the bricks are trying to murder me. <laughs> and the, the, this thingy up here was not fun to do at all. And the, and the door is just one solid color. And it was like, and the stick, it's just, all of it's just one giant solid color. And I got really bored with it. So I'm taking a break. You can see where I stopped. <laughs> of course, it's on a border. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey, Catherine does my boring borders. Maybe she'll do your boring yeah, borders for you Maybe. Too. And we know what that one is. We just saw that. <laughs> yeah. That one is Little House Needleworks called number 72. <laughs> The library. the library. The library. And it says, an open book is a window to the world. That's what it says. I like that. So, yeah. All right. So now do, do well, those are my old, old. Is, that this one's, one's mine. mine. One's yours. You're, you show yours and then I'll show that one. Hand me the other one. It's okay. I'll just put it down. It's heavy. Okay. Do you want them to know your son's oh. name and? Probably not, but I already showed it. <laughs> What's going to be? Do you want me to run and get a post-it note? Um, no. That works. There we go. <laughs> this is my baby sampler. You can see how big he was. He was 8'3", 20 inches and a half. And I really liked doing this one. I got it done before his first birthday. That, that's the rule. You just have to have it done before the first birthday. And I did. Actually, the rule is you have to have it done before they're old enough to know that they don't have one. Well, I had it done by their first birthday. And Dad was like, whoa, by their first birthday? And so, he was born very close to Halloween, so it was very appropriate. We love Halloween. I got married in Halloween, and my kid was born on Halloween, and not on Halloween, but in October. And I got married in October. We really, 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 really like October at my house. So. I love this one with all my heart. And we changed it instead of putting... Yeah, we changed it because we had to change it into a baby sampler. Where's the picture of it? Do we have it? Yeah, it's the big one. Here's what it was going to look like. And it was on nasty orange fabric. Okay, let's take it out of it. So we did not nasty orange fabric. <laughs> it's a... It's like tan. Brown, yeah. Like tan color. So that's what it was gonna look and like. And instead of these monster faces, yeah, and we did his name, right? I don't even think we said trick or treat. I think mm -hmm. this is just his name. And the date. And then this is how much he weighs, um, and how long he was. And then this is the time and the date and the something else, the year, the time, the date, and the year. So very cute. That one's my favorite. And we actually got it framed. Look at that. It's my only framed one. Mm -hmm. So, so yeah. All right. Um, let's show your. I did a wedding sampler for Marie. Do you care if they know his name and the no. and the date? No. So this one is. Oh, let's see if we can get it without the glare. Right there. Good job. Can you talk about it? This is Plum Street Sampler's Fruit of the Spirit. And it did say, at the top, it said the fruit of the spirit is. And we changed it to Marie and her husband's name instead. And then at the bottom, it said love, joy, peace. And we changed that to the date. And home is with you. And home is with you. And why does it say home is with you, Marie? Because my husband was in the military for a couple years. When we first got married, he was in the military. And he was gone for six months out of the first year we were married. And so I, when you're in the military, you have to move around a lot. And so I figured wherever we move, it doesn't matter because our home is wherever you are because he's in the military. So that's why I like it. And it turned out really cute. This is what the original pattern looked like. So we changed the words down here at the bottom. And we made that band a little bit 
uh, wider because yeah. we needed to fit Home is with you and then more details and the Ochre Mountain Temple, October 10th. And then we also took out those two dogs. Oh, and the little man and the little woman. So the stuff in the grass, Marie wasn't fond oh, yeah, of Yeah, I didn't like the, yeah. So we put weird. ducks in because of the rubber ducks, right? Something like that. So this one was little duckies some and flowers. some flowers. But I think the houses, the houses are, the same. are all the same. I don't think I had to move any of that. Just the naked lady and the man. <laughs> Show them the naked lady and the man. There they are. <laughs> They're weird. It's fine. It's probably Adam and Eve. I don't know. Her hair is something else. And we are LDS, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. So that's why it has a temple name on there. It's the location of where she got married. All right. Today you're in Utah? Yes, yes. I told them that we live in Utah by Salt Lake City. In Pleasant Grove. I think I told them I live in Pleasant Grove. Oh, and then also, I did a birth sampler for Marie. I'm just going to cover it. I cross-stitched this when I was a newborn. <laughs> uh, help me, yeah. It's called Cottage Christening. It was in the Cross Stitch and Country Crafts magazine. So all I did was personalize her name and date. I didn't change anything else about it. And I don't know when I finished it. I'm sure by the time you were two, probably. Wow. It's in this issue of Cross Stitch and Country Crafts, which is the January, February 93 issue. And I'm sure we used white. Whatever count linen it calls for, I'm sure I used the same linen. Um, it's probably 28 count white. And I used the Culp for DMC floss. I will say, one of the differences between me and Catherine is that mm -hmm. I have tried a little bit of everything. Catherine has not. I don't think <laughs> Catherine knows how to knit. Catherine doesn't know how to crochet. Catherine, Maybe she does. She yeah. doesn't. I don't think she does. <laughs> Only I do. What else do I know how to do? <laughs> I can Swedish weave. Swedish weave, yes. Yes, we have Swedish weaving projects. I remember that. I, I have an that's... unfinished one and you have an unfinished one. Is yours finished? No, unfinished. I can do all things. Let's see, and I was going to show one old finish for the season. This one is called, this is the day. This is a Lottie Da. Lottie Da called this is the day, and I changed the fabric and I also completely changed the colors. Mine is on 40 count sand dune. And I used Belsois silks. And I did one strand over two threads and I did it back in 2010. This is the original colors. And it calls for needlepoint silks and I converted it to um, Belsois silks so that it had to fall fall colors because I love fall. One's Happy. green, one's yellow. Well, one's cool colors and one's warm colors and I wanted it to be warm colors. I like it. All right. That is all of our, everything but what you wish you were stitching on. What do you wish you were stitching on? Well, I have these ones that I stole from your collection. No, I think we bought them. We were at that the That one crafts. says Brenda. Oh, probably because they know you. We ordered it, and they, I, gotcha. I think they had it in a drawer for me to come and pick up. I think I we liked... ordered them because you wanted them when we were at the craft center. This one's ABC's of parenting. It says, um, accept your child, be consistent, blah, 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 blah. I thought it was cute, so I like it, so I got it. I just like all the colors. It's very colorful, and it would be cute in, like, a little kid's room or, like, the kitchen or something. I don't know. Um, and then this one says, at our house we do real, we do mistakes, we do I'm sorry, we do, oh, we do do-overs, we do fun, we do forgiveness, we do loud really well. I think that's why I bought it. <laughs> it's because we do loud really well. Um, we do hugs, we do patience, we do family, we do love. It's also Lizzie Kate. Apparently I really like Lizzie Kate. And that one's called At Our House. Yes. That's so. Those are my haven't worked on yet, but have all the stuff for them. So yeah, 
And does it look fun? Would you like to be working on it right now? Or are you looking at it going, no, maybe I'll pick something else next? Um, I think this is when I'm going to graduate to not being a one at a timer. Because <laughs> it's still, it's very repetitive. It has a bunch of different words and words aren't very fun. And so. That's the one nice part about doing several different kinds of projects. You can yeah. do a little bit on the boring one and then go work on the one that's not so boring. Or What's, just something that's different. Is it Hawk and Hawk? Hawk Run Hollow. Hawk Run Hollow. When I was watching Catherine's video, I was like, I really like Hawk Run Hollow. <laughs> so and if those are pretty difficult, then I won't do them. But... <laughs> They're, well, they're similar to that one you, this one that you don't like because it had so much, that boring doorway. Yeah. That's all one color. There is a lot of that, big blocks of one color, so. Hmm. I don't know, we'll see. When yeah, I look online, yeah. I can never find anything, and then I look at all your stuff, and I'm like, I like all that, because it's all houses. You like to do houses. Yes. I yes. like to do houses. I have a thing about stitching houses. I don't know why. All right, what I wish I was working on is this pumpkin patch pillow. I saw this the other day when I was cleaning out my sewing room. And it's by Donna Vermilion Giampa. Giampa. Donna repetitive. <laughs> Donna's and I like love it, it's all. fall. And then I realized when I was going through my stuff that I have some, there are like, she's done several pillows. There's the grapes pillow, which I think is beautiful. And the peaches pillow. And a passion for plums on black. Yeah, that, that would be, that'd be fun. Just, just have black to have some fabric. really good, yeah, but you just have to have really good light to be able to see it. Yeah. And then in the Just Cross Stitch magazine of, we don't know when, March of. It should have a date on this guy right here, but it doesn't. Maybe it has it on there. They covered up the year with the sticker. Hmm. You think it would have the year on the editorial page somewhere? <laughs> Are you using your special skills to see what? To look through the paper. Doesn't say. May, June. 2011? Oh, I finally found a copyright date. 2011, I think. The cover looks like this. It has the rooster on the front. And then in that issue, there is a farmer summer farmer's market pillow by the same, by that same designer that has all that fruit on it. And I love that one too. So that's what I wish I was working on right now. All right, Marie, I think that's everything. It's only 33 minutes. We need to talk for an hour and a half more. <laughs> Now I have to get back to work. <laughs> I'm on my lunch half hour, and Marie has, has to go make sure that my husband has home that killed my children. Yes. yes, yes, yes. But we hope you have a happy day and get lots of stitching done. And we'll have Marie back on again soon. Yes. I have to go clean my house. That's what I have to do. Oh, I'm sorry. And yes, if I cross stitch this month, I'll come back. <laughs> <laughs> Next time you're on a what did I call it? Uh, when you're having a a blitz. A blitz. A binge, then a binge. Then then we'll have you on after that. Yep. Alright. See you soon. Bye. Bye bye.